I'm not going to like, cause I obviously take videos, but, uh, I would say if you are starting out as an apprentice, maybe it's not the time to do that. Yeah. Boom. We're on the air, dude. Boom. Okay. Uh, I'm excited. There's a big one here. Uh, we're, we've talked topics like this in the past, but yeah. Yeah, I you know we're bringing it up again. It, it came up in some DMs, and I thought there was some cool information. You showed me a post on Instagram, and it got us thinking. So we got a list for everybody for the Make Trades Great Again podcast today. Top five things apprentices need to be thinking about every single day. Right. Top five things. Right. You ready? It's not right. gonna be a long ass list. There's five things. <laughs> five. Five. That's it. That's <laughs> just five. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off. And I want you to okay. expand on any one of them as you see fit. You ready? Number yep. one. Number one thing I think apprentices need to think about, being on time. Now, I'm not talking about the, you know, if you're on time, you're late kind of thing. That's not my deal. I've right. said that in the past. I, I don't get into that kind of, st- that saying, that whole mentality, whatever. Yeah. I think there go there's a little bit that goes into being on time, but you don't have to overthink it. Right? Right. Yep. Yeah, just don't be late. Yeah. Look, Andy. <laughs> just don't be late. Andy, if it's I tell easy. you, we're, we're going to meet tomorrow at the condo building at 7 o'clock, we're going to start working. What does that mean to you? If I say we're going to meet there and we're going to get ready, we're going to start working at 7, um, if in general, that means that let's be standing in front of the condo building basically you know, ready to ready to grab tools and go to work. Yeah, I might ask, yeah. like, uh, if you told me that, I might ask, what are we going to do at 7? Like, what is our job right. at the condo building? And you would tell right. me, and i go, okay, so for that, I need my tool bag, and that's about it. Or for yep. that, I need, I'm going to need my drill, my impact. I'm going to need that whole box of fittings. Yep. I'm going to need all this. Okay, so that means at 7 a.m., I'm yep. going to be ready to work with the things yep. for that job for that day. Right. I mean, yep. day, you, you know, pre- prepared to prepared to, to start working. Right. Month one, yeah. month two, month three, yeah. maybe as an apprentice, you got a little leeway on, you know, you're probably not going to be expected to know these things every time. But ask that question, you know, like, what do I need to be ready to do at seven? Like, what do I need? But at that, that on time, meaning be ready to go. I think that's the key point on that whole yeah. top on number one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think the 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 takeaway I have on being prepared or being on time or that that early component is if you're early, right? Yeah, be productive. If if you're waiting for the rest of the crew to be there, the waiting for supervisor, be productive. If you know, I mean, one of the one of the things that that someone in an apprenticeship position may not understand. Um, early on is that your supervisor, whoever you're meeting, may be getting new information, may be developing the plan for the of attack for the day yep. because things are changing. And that may be happening three minutes before seven. Right. Ordering new materials and, that were forgotten, getting the word from the yep. project manager. Yep. And sometimes you just got to be like, Hey, I'm going to go, you know, whatever I'm, I'm okay. The, the conversation about the weekend is uh, clearly is not at the right time, <laughs> whatever we're going to, we're going to, we're going to pump that over cause we're not ready to work yet. And I, I just have, I mean, it's, it's hard to recognize that, but recognize that there may be other things that are happening that you were instructed to be there at seven. However, your supervisor was there at six preparing and he's there's still four minutes before we're ready for go time yeah and yeah and, that, and that's hard to that's hard to there but just i guess be be aware that um just because your instructions are to be here and start at seven that there may be other things going on at a quarter sure. two yeah yeah so. i mean there's a lot of there's some things that might go into that like you show up your supervisor, whoever, whatever that role name is, is busy, preoccupied, doing those things that they might have to get done. Maybe they weren't planned at that specific moment. So, um, yeah, that kind of goes back to the be, you know, be productive, do something. I guess if you're clocking in at 7 a.m. and, you know, nobody should expect you to work at 645. Like, if you're not getting paid, you're not getting paid. 
but also know that sometimes initiative goes a long way. I think a lot of um, kids, this is, I mean, every generation is a little different. It's not that generation's fault by any means, so I'm not going to be that guy. Not be, Try not to be that old dude saying something about another generation. But sometimes I think um, our kids' is age group and uh, slightly younger, people that are in their 20s now, early 20s, a lot of times are ones that were um, – still told to stand there and wait till they given further instructions. And what that kind of translates to on the job is don't do anything until I tell you. <laughs> and I do, you know, we got to try to, right. The trades, I think we got to kind of try to shed that whole thing, but yeah, be on time, be ready to work, understand that, you know, a hundred percent attention maybe isn't going to be paid to you at that, that exact moment in time. Cause there's a lot of things going on. Uh, moving on. Number two, ask questions. It gets brought up all the time. How many times have you heard? There's no stupid question. Um, <laughs> usually it's just stupid answers. To be honest with you. Yeah. You, you usually they're <laughs> stupid answers. I mean, <sighs> so I, I, I agree. And, and largely, I mean, the saying is there for a reason, right? Yeah. It's ask questions. If yeah. you don't, if you're unsure of something, ask, ask questions. There are 100% stupid questions. Well, right. So let's, let's be clear here. Um, there are stupid <laughs> questions. Um, stupid questions, in my opinion, are usually uh, replied to or answered with a snarky, dumbass comment. Yeah, but uh, hopefully you right, know the that's, difference. That's yeah. jokingly. Yeah, that's jokingly. exactly. Yeah. yeah, hopefully you know. Um, yeah. However, what I would say is don't – There's there are certain personalities that um, that like to challenge – Supervision, right? Yeah. With questions. Yeah. The, the the process of being the apprentice is not to drag the process down with questions, right? Like, I don't, I don't mean that to say, like, don't ask questions because you feel like you're slowing the process because you are there to learn. Yeah. However, think about how to phrase your questions so that they're, so that you're, you're going to get a, a, that they can be answered, Right. You know, if, if you're if you're out on you know day six of, of your apprenticeship and you've mastered soldering, um, oh, wait by day and, six you mastered it. <laughs> oh, crap. And, and genius! You get, you get to that you know the, the well. What are the quantum physics yeah. behind not reaming copper? Oh pipe? God. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Your journeyman may not know quantum physics, and quantum physics may not even apply to it. And they don't. But you know, I mean, if. They don't, right? <laughs> Think just, I mean, that's, I guess that's what I'm saying yeah. is, is that, you know, make sure, make sure you've got, you know, that the question is, is relevant. I mean, is, is really a thing. Don't try not to get too far in the weeds. As you're learning, you're going to pick up different concepts um, and different pieces of like, uh, like overall heat, like hydronic heating, right? On day six, yeah, you're learning how to solder the joints at the baseboard. Okay, cool. That's super cool. Maybe, you know, questions along that line uh, involve why do we put the fins on the baseboard in this direction instead of the other direction, right? Is there an up and a down? You know, those are great questions. On day six, you may not be trying to figure out why we're using this circulator over there. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, don't get too far in the weeds. Definitely ask questions. But maybe some of those kinds of questions while you're getting instruction – those, those kinds of questions are should be reserved later for maybe, you know, it's at the it, towards the end of the day and, you know, you're picking up and, hey, so, okay, I was thinking about this while we were soldering this baseboard together. Why did we pick that circulator in four zone valves instead of four circulators and no zone valves? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, I mean, yeah, appropriate those, questions. Those are good yeah. questions. Right. Yeah, and, and there's just an appropriate time for some of that because – if if we're on a uh, on a process where you're trying to learn how to effectively do this as a, as a supervisor, maybe a very small task. That's what they need you to do right now, and that's really what they need you to learn how to do is that small task. Yeah, yeah, I agree don't, with that. Try not to get in the weeds, and and it, like I say, don't don't be afraid to ask those questions, but maybe phrase those and and go, hey, when we we got a minute, I'd, I'd like to know more about this. Right, right. Perfect. You know. Yep. Exactly. Um, well, kind of related to that, <laughs> sort of, is, you know, I, on our list here, we got number three, think ahead. 
And for me, think ahead is uh, not only, you know, just considering what you're doing now and the fact that this might, you know, like, let's say it's it's uh, 10 a.m. And I was just told to pick up garbage. Um, to me, my brain doesn't go, and it never did even when I was an apprentice, go to, well, I got to make this last as long as possible because I think that's a poor attitude and and just dull mindset. Uh, think ahead, meaning I know this task isn't going to take me the rest of the day, or it is, but if it's not, what should I be doing next? And maybe you get to the point where like, it's literally just going to ask a question. What do I do next? Or think ahead. Uh, we're doing kind of the same things each day. And usually around this time, I know I'm supposed, you know, yesterday, day before, day before that, we did the same thing. I'm going to maybe start thinking about that too. Like, don't think only that you you know kind of going back to what I was talking about earlier be be on time be ready to work maybe this generation a lot of times is thinking they have to be told what to do next think ahead a little bit a lot of times you're repeating the same things over and over right yeah definitely um I, I think that's that 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 pay attention to um you know to those instructions I Every almost every single individ, every single human, twelve years and older at this point in this this country anyway, <laughs> has a cell phone. Yeah, right. Like I mean, for the most part, um, people don't use them for what I feel like some of their you know some of the the really cool benefits are that there. There's a note taking app. Yeah. Um, on it doesn't matter if it's Google or Android or whatever the phone is. Yep. There's probably a notes app. Start taking some notes. Write stuff down. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I don't don't get like super distracted like you're going to write a novel, but you know, maybe it's maybe it's hey, the, um, I'm working with John today, and we're hey John, so what are we going to go do? Well, we're got five. You know, we're going to do these things. We're going to do this, this, that, 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 and the other. Thing. Well, at the end of the day, if that if if that was literally how long it took for John to explain what it was you're doing, well, okay, hang on a sec. Let's can I, I'm going to write this down so I make sure I don't miss anything. You know, quick, quick jot some notes, scratch it on a cardboard box flap, whatever you have to do. But that, you know, if, if you can avoid having to have be repeated, like, oh, remember I told you to do this? Yeah. Remember I told I got you to do you. this? I needed you, you know. Yeah, that, make your own little helps list. Things. Yeah. Even as an apprentice, yeah. you can keep track of these things that, you know, either you're instructed to do or that you might know is something that gets repeated all the time. Like every time you run the core drill, uh, you got to go get the wet vac, you got to get the water tank, you got to get all this stuff, right? Like think ahead kind of thing in that respect as in individual tasks. But you're, you're saying to think ahead as in, you know, take the time real quick, write the list of things down or ask, what are we going to do today? Uh, and when I'm done with this, what should I be thinking about next kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. That's kind of just a little bit more of a take an initiative to, I'd say it's a little more advanced, you know, somebody that's a little been on, you know, in the apprenticeship a little bit yeah. longer than, you know, first few months okay. or so, but sure. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Just kind of time management on your own side of things so that you don't necessarily have to be your hand, you know, I hate the hand holding reference, but you know what I'm saying when it, <laughs> right. you know, like you don't have to be told how, you know, every single step, let's say. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think that the, the note taking can be done in a couple of phases, a couple of ways. If, if you're given a task and you're like, Hey, I, there's there's a couple of steps here. I want to make sure I remember these. Okay, I've got it. Whatever. Okay, I'm ready to go. I, I've I've got all my questions answered. And then, as the journeyman basically moves on to do whatever, jot them down. Yeah. You know, whatever. Just so they're so they're kind of in the top of your memory. You know, if if there's something you're you're interested in. I look back, and when I was a I as an apprentice, I worked for this big company, and they had this uh this like satellite shop in the sub basement of a high rise in downtown Minneapolis. And there was three, four or five guys working out of there at any time. And as an apprentice, it was impressed upon me at that point in time. Like I showed up to work and the job, the foreman handed me a, like a little 
pocket size notebook, like the small one, like the three inch size notebook, a little spiral bound at the top. And he's like, you're going to use this more than you could ever possibly imagine. It's probably going to be your most used tool. And I think back to that. And I remember then using that constantly, just like, oh, I need these fittings and make a list. And then you could call and order it, or you could go to the, you know, crib and get it. Yeah. Just having that little note all the time. Now we have phones, like you said, but that brings me to the, um, kind of the next one, number four. And on my list on number four, um, I I kind of feel strongly about this because I feel like I see it with my, you know, having raised a couple boys. Um, so having been through not only training a, a whole ton of apprentices over the years when I was uh, younger, a younger plumber, um, I think I had seven or eight 10 different apprentices over the years that I've trained. Um, And then seeing it with my boys, pay attention to what you're doing right now. (laughs) And when I tell you how to do something, I mean, this is so basic, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. It made my (laughs) list. I insisted it got on our top five here. Pay attention to what you're doing uh, because in some cases you might have to be shown how to do a, a specific task more than once. I understand that, but pay attention because you're in your career, you're starting out in your career, you're going to do this again. This will not, Yeah. this is almost never going to be the case that this is the last first and last time you're going to do something. I'm teaching you right. how to do something. Please pay close enough attention so that you can hopefully repeat the task and get better at it over time. And so that, right. so that you can make it a little bit easier on those training you to not have to teach you how to do something over and over and over the right. same thing. I'm not trying right. to be complain. I'm not trying to be that crabby dude. I just know like as a parent, as a, as a journeyman who is training apprentices, there's plenty of times where people's attitudes <laughs> are not really there. They don't want to pay attention. Maybe they're pulling your chain a little. I don't know sometimes, yeah. But pay attention. Nobody wants to teach you how to do the same thing, especially if it's a really simple task, over yeah. and over. Like a second time I get, a third time I'm going to start questioning your intelligence here. You know? Like 100%. honestly. I think it's important to to think about how it, how it is that you're utilizing the it, your whoever's teaching you's time as well in that aspect. Yeah. Be respectful of the time that they're spending to tell you. So if you're not paying attention, if, if this is not what's like – the top of your focus, figure out how to change that. Yeah. Because right now your, your sole job, your sole purpose and, and reason for existence on this job is to understand the instructions that have been given and go do it. Yeah. Look, sometimes <laughs> tasks are complex. Sometimes you're going to be told to do something yeah. that's going to take you all day to do like literally all day and through that entire day or maybe multiple days, things are going to come up. You're going to need further instruction. That's not what I'm talking about. No, what I'm talking about is truly the basics. Like if I ask you to clean up, don't ask me where I keep the broom every single time. Like, remember where the broom is kept, you know what I mean? Like, like I know I'm really dumbing it down, but this can be applied to a lot of different things. Don't wait. Like you said, perfect. That's a great point. Don't at some point you're wasting the time of the person who's trying to teach you something. And if you don't think this is an important task, you're wrong. In most cases, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to the person who's telling you to do this, that it was an important task. And without you doing it, the job doesn't get done. Simple as that. Sometimes, sometimes you get stuck doing stuff you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Like picking up garbage or sweeping or, Right. Fire watch or like I'm trying to think of yeah. sh- stuff I don't like to do, <laughs> but like <laughs> like you don't always get to do the best thing, and also you know right. sometimes the low man gets the the lesser yeah. job, you know. Sure, but pay attention. Yep. Uh, here's here's one the one thing I insisted the reason it was it should be on there. If if I only have to teach you how to do something once or twice, you know, uh, my attitude and this, I'm not trying to put this on me. I'm saying, I think this is probably true for a lot of people in this position of training somebody else. Um, my attitude about you changes considerably. It's more positive. I'm more eager to teach you as much as 
you want to learn. I'm more eager to task you with things that you want to do. Not that I'm ever going to pick right. on you on purpose and say, oh, he doesn't like to do this. I'm going to make him do it. That I'm going to yeah. break him eventually. That's never <laughs> my case. I'm just saying, like, look, pay attention. This is going to be easier on all of us. Uh, and then the logistics, like you're going to do this again. So why ask the same question over and over? Don't you get tired of that? Right. <laughs> oh boy. I feel like I just ranted on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, last one that I had on the list and, um, expand on this one if you will, but it is related to what we were just talking about paying it, attention. It, it, it fits exactly with what you uh, were just saying about number four. Put your damn phone away. I don't, I know it was brought up already. Phone is a tool. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Communication, taking notes, yeah. calculator. I don't, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The distraction that a phone presents is just, it's, it's unneeded. Yep. There you go. I, I, in this day and age, a lot of us, and I'm, and I'm not going to say it's a, a, a generation like, oh, the newest gener- youngest generation can't get away from social media. Oh, bullshit. And I'm you the worst. And the, you and I are the same way at it. I'm the and, worst. And we, you know, there's, there's this desire, once you're kind of in that social media thing, to let everybody know what you're doing, right? Mm-hmm. And, and eliminate the need. And it's not just social media. It's it's understanding that during the day you've been you're being paid to to work. Um, in many cases, you're going to be being paid uh, potentially, or we're we're basic. Let's 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 change this around. We're we're going to be being paid at or near, maybe even more than a dollar a minute. Okay. Right. Yeah. In some cases, as you get become a journeyman. Yep. That's that's not an unfathomable thing right that your 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 package pay may be a buck a minute it may be a buck 30 it may be 75 cents regardless start think you know think about that in that in that aspect you know if, if i got distracted um 10 times a day for 30 seconds at a time yeah it's three bucks oh, whatever big deal three bucks you know there's a monster energy just twice that you know whatever uh, it, the the concept comes down to you know, what did that distraction do? And, and we all know how you can get squirreled away into, you know, scrolling a couple of stories and, oh, checking in on what, what your buddies are doing and whatnot. And it's just, it will, it will distract you from the task at hand. And it will almost always, when somebody, when the supervisor walks around the corner and you've got your phone in your hand and they see that pink, uh, square swipe away. <laughs> oh, it was on Instagram. What the hell? Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's not needed. No, it, people it, are going to think, it, yeah, it is, it is not a, I mean, th- there's no need to check in right during the day. You're, you're getting paid to work. That's what you're getting paid to do. If you want to check in, check in at break, check in at lunch, check in at after work. So what I do, yeah. So what I do, uh, to try to stay away from that stuff as much as I can, uh, now, first of all, my phone is my business line, right? So there's that. Uh, I can't leave my phone in the van unless I don't want future jobs. <laughs> right. Um, but, uh, what I do is I put my phone on do not disturb. That's a nice little feature that, that, uh, I need on a personal level, even as the business right. owner and everything like that, it helps me focus. Because it removes yep. some of the distractions. Okay. Right. Uh, if you are an apprentice, which is what we're talking about, you were not hired on and you weren't hired on to be the social media uh, personality <laughs> for the company, uh, that's not your job. And so yep. we could just state, we can we could leave it at that or we could just say like that's a, as a fact. Um, also a couple things truly, and this is the, this is the old responsible adult talking, uh, it could be a safety concern. Like it literally sure. can be, uh, what's most likely going to happen is you're going to make a mistake. You're going to forget to do something. You're going to forget to press that fitting, solder that fitting, crimp that fitting in the case of the plumbing, like we're talking about, right? You're going to forget yeah. to do the one little detail that needed to be done in order to consider that job yeah. complete. 
And somebody's going to have to go back and do it. Somebody's going to have to take the time to write down that it wasn't done. All these things that you're not maybe thinking about as an apprentice, but it is going to reflect back on the person that was supposed to have done it the first time around. And so yeah. a lot of times it just is a distraction. I like what you said. It costs the company money, yes. But, you know, most apprentices, I'll, I'll advocate for them on that sense. Most apprentices don't give a crap what the company is having to pay. Like, they don't care. Yeah. I Yeah, I acknowledge that. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, look, this is kind of the fact. Um, or at least put it this way. A lot of apprentices aren't going to be motivated by that. You're right, though. I 100% yeah. agree with you. Um, but the I, I think it's... I think it's important to note there too that in that same in that same phrase of of you know trying to avoid that don't be afraid to take pictures of stuff don't be afraid to to take video of stuff to post later right? oh okay to share that stuff I I think if it's, it's not a big that. distraction yeah if it's not going to be a distraction I mean don't I, you 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 know from anybody and I know because I'm terrible at it that. <laughs> It is it is hard to basically get good content without putting some thought into it, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, is uh, it, your job to create content, or is your job to? My job is not. Yeah. My, you know, the the content at you know on my end of it is um, from a monetary point that's not there. It's almost non-existent. Right. If you know, other than you know through through this, um, I you know your your side of it is completely different. And there are other people that have phenomenal followings and do a really good job at producing content. And they, they're they good at it. I would say, in general, take videos, take pictures, whatever. Don't let it become a thing where I'm doing this project so I can get content. Oh, gotcha. It should be the other direction. Yeah, that's I'm a slippery slope. Yeah. Because I'm doing this. Yeah. <laughs> that's a yeah. slippery slope. I mean, it, I, I will kind of – I will – uh, stand strong on the, uh, it's a distraction thing. Yeah, I agree with definitely. you. Look, I'm not going to like, cause I obviously take videos, but, uh, I would say if you are starting out as an apprentice, maybe it's not the time to do that. Yeah. Like, no, you know, but you, you make a good point. If it's not going to become a distraction to me, that means like, maybe it's the end of the day. And you are right. done working. Literally, like you're told, I, like, yeah, go take yeah. five minutes, take that video, no problem. Like, or yeah, or maybe, as I just say that, maybe you talk to your journey, maybe like, hey, do you mind if I take a couple photos of this real quick? Like, that's a different <laughs> right. situation. That's probably the way right. to approach it, actually. I hadn't thought it about is. that because I don't have somebody in the van with me. But maybe if that conversation was had, like, hey, do you mind if I do this real quick? I'm more likely to say no, absolutely, go ahead. Yeah, and then is, in the yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and in the case that it's not, like no, not right now, dude. Like later, right? Yeah. Or no, this customer's because you may not. And this is something that right. Um, Pat Finley brings up a lot, and and I never thought about it because I don't. I, mean, I think I've got customers it. that I've got customers that base absolutely do not want anything of their stuff anywhere. Right. I yep. get that. Yep. So, you know, unidentifiable photos, yep. you know, that you're not going to, you're not going to be able to figure out where it was taken at. Um, and, and I have, I've, you know, listened to Pat Finley on uh, commercial kitchen chronicles a handful of times or not a handful yep. regularly. And uh, one of the things that comes up pretty regularly in there is he, and uh, I think it's, uh, you know, a couple of his uh, people on there will be like, Oh, I, I couldn't post this picture because there was an embossed napkin. Oh, on yeah. the counter or whatever, yeah. and the napkin would have given away where we were at. And, you know, these people have, you know, and non-disclosure um, agreements and There's things like that. Plenty of things you, you know, can and it's not like video. <laughs> yeah, right. But, but it's, and it's not that, you know, that, that the company came in and said, you know, this particular employee can't post these. It's like, we don't want you to post any pictures yeah, I mean, yeah. about any of the insides of our working without our knowledge. And, and it's, it just limits their liability. Yeah. So, I mean, you just got to be a, a cognizant of that. and Totally you know, agree. Oh, I'm going to add a little bonus yeah. real quick. Number six, yeah, unofficial. Sure. But uh, you, you based off of what you just said, uh, it's very likely that whoever you work for has some kind of like employee handbook if it's a larger company. Maybe sure. if you just work for, you know, mom and pa shop, they might not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but if there is something in place and you've been given that, set of rules that you are supposed guideline that you're supposed to follow 
uh, regardless of what we're saying in this podcast, <laughs> follow right. those rules first. Like, so right. in the case that maybe you aren't like literally aren't supposed to be taken just because Andy yeah. and Eric said, yeah, at the end of the day, take pictures. If it's not, you know, okay, look, if you're not supposed <laughs> I'm, to, don't I'm not do it. signing your paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. If you're not supposed to, we're trying to just talk about some things that I know are pet peeves. Uh, to yep. be honest with you, this list is made up of yep. things that are pretty common sense and can be pet peeves for people who are trying to train you. Right. And yeah, let's leave it at this. It's my opinion that, uh, being an apprentice is a, is not, you're not, nobody's obligated to, you know, like it's not a right. Like, I yeah. think it's, I think it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I think, uh, people taking their time to teach you these skills and so that you too can then move on and hopefully yeah. pass it along to somebody, but make a living doing this and hopefully enjoy your life and everything like that. That's a gift yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, don't disrespect it. Think, think about it in any which way you, you can. Try to just honor the people that are teaching you because although maybe you don't get the best teachers all the time, it's probably not going to be that way forever. Right. 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 Yep. If I was going to add one tidbit to it um, is be motivated to learn on your own. Yeah. You know, too. Some people so, aren't, I mean, but if, yeah. If, if, well, fig, figure figure out how. Uh, you know, I figure, mean, that's, figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> and, 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 I, and, I, and I say that is go, you know, spend, you know, if, if you, if you're, if the end of the day is five o'clock, right? Yeah. Five o'clock ends, you head home, do dinner, you're with the fam, whatever, you're, you got some downtime. And today you were learning about pump curves, but you're not really sure. And you're like, ah, oh, this is freaking stupid. You know, I don't need to know pump curves. It's super stupid. Maybe, maybe spend 15 minutes. You know, spend 20 minutes and dive into, dive into some of that. It sounds grueling. You know, it, it does sound grueling, Ugh. but okay. Maybe it's not pump curves. No, no, I'm just maybe joking. I get what but, you're saying. But maybe it's, you know, how, how does, how does low voltage wiring work? There's something I what wish I would have spent tra- more what? time thinking about. I'll oh. tell you that much. Yeah. How does a transformer work? Magic. Right? That, that simple little thing. Holy cow. There's I mean, magic. You'll, you'll start, there's smoke inside it, of it. Don't let it out. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to. But you're right. I agree. I'm giving but, you a hard time. But if you, I, I think, uh, who is it that's been saying this lately? Maybe it's Roger Wakefield. He might. It might be a saying of his. Is like spend spend a, you know ten minutes a day learning something new or something like that. Okay. You know, and and it's and it, and I think it, the concept is is. You know, if you're sitting there in the morning and you're, you know, you're instead of spending 10 minutes scrolling on, you know, doom scrolling, you know, <laughs> whatever, um, you know, pick up, you know, find, find a, uh, somebody's newsletter, you know, the Kalefi newsletter, or Takeo newsletter. Mechanicalhub.com. Just, just Mechanicalhub.com. There you go. Where, where do a, you find that thing? Once a week you get yeah, you know. a newsletter with things that are happening in the plumbing heating industry. Uh, you know, kind of like this uh, Instagram tag that I was in here just a minute about from uh, from Kalefi um, about charting the course of lifelong learning. Oh wow, is that oh, that sounds cow, is that sound... like a mouthful? It's like right there. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, I can see it on the screen now <laughs> for people listening in audio only. What is that? Is that like a seminar that's happening? Yeah, it's like a coffee with Kalefi live thing that live you and I are live doing. where live. At AHR. Oh, AHR Expo. That's coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you and I are going to be yeah. talking at AHR Expo. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, funny. Well, funny. here in like what, like 10, you know, like, well, when this airs in like five days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Be short. Well, I'm going to end it, dude. So end it. Great insight. We'll learn something. It was top five <laughs> things or more as an apprentice That's to right. think about. If you are an apprentice, pay attention. <laughs> if you have an apprentice or you're, you know, look. Just share this with somebody, would you please? We appreciate yeah. it. All right, guys, yeah, thanks for listening. Absolutely. Andy, thank you. Uh, I got to go. I got diarrhea. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>